Hi, welcome to day four of the Fill Your Yoga Class Challenge. I'm Erica, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here because today we are talking about the thing that I get asked about most often, and that is technology. More specifically, what kinds of tools are there available to help you to manage just the day-to-day -day tasks that come along with being a yoga teacher? Now, when I say we're talking about technology, I just want to preface this to let you know, I'm not talking today about hardware. I'm not talking about cameras and lighting and microphones and computers. I am talking more about the software and the things that help you automate relationships with your students, that help you to just create better um, ways to communicate and perfect your overall message and what you're all about when you put it out there into the world and do it with a lot more ease and a lot more clarity. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I will share a list. You probably got this by email. If you didn't get it by email, then that means that you have not entered your email address. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see what I'm seeing, which is my favorite time saving tech tools. These things I get so excited about. <laughs> because they have completely transformed the way that I do business. Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to go through them with you and tell you what I love about them all. Um, please know there are alternatives to everything on this list, but most of these are free or really low cost. And they are so worth, um, they're so worth just getting and playing with and learning more about. Okay, so my very number one favorite um, tech tool for my yoga business is Canva. Many of you I'm sure already know and use Canva, but what I love about it is that you don't have to be a graphic designer to develop like a look and feel for your graphics. Everything from social media posts to like promo um, images to the graphics on your website to even like worksheets, like the one that you're seeing here, I made that in Canva. Um, and why is this a time-saving tool, you may be thinking? Well, one of the things that I love most about Canva is that um, I am not a graphic designer. However, I can go into Canva for whatever it is that I want to make. There are templates and templates and templates of things that are made by actual graphic designers. There are also a ton of stock images that you can use in your marketing tools. So I absolutely love it. I can make everything look really good with my standard fonts and colors. And that way it's recognizable when someone sees it wherever I market my business. Okay, Gmail. You may not think of Gmail as a magical like tech tool, right? It's just your email, but I recently figured out a way to manage so much of my business through Gmail. And what I love about it is that, well, I'm going to actually show you this tomorrow. So make sure you come back and watch tomorrow, but you can actually batch emails to all of those people who we identified yesterday that we want to manage relationships with. You can write them you can write follow-ups and schedule them. You can 
Um, send people um, links to the Zoom class that they're supposed to attend, and you can schedule out so that they get that link before every class. Now, there are more automated ways to do this as well, and I will talk about that in just a moment, but if you don't want to pay for a scheduling tool, but you also want to make sure that your students remember that they have a class coming up, Gmail does it. And the other thing that I just recently learned about Gmail is that they also have a tool that you can put the emails that are in your inbox into a to-do list. So like if you don't want to answer an email right then, but you want to sit down and answer all of your emails at once, batching your time, <laughs> then email um, Gmail helps you to manage that. Again, I will show you exactly how to do that tomorrow. Okay, the next tool is MailChimp. So I've talked a lot in this challenge about why it is so important to manage your relationships with your yoga students. Another way to do this is a little less personal and that's by sending regular email updates or email newsletters. I'm sure many of you already are doing this. I like MailChimp. There are lots and lots of other um, email service providers that are like MailChimp, they do the same thing. And I probably would advise when you get a bigger list to switch over to something else. I've heard different things about like low open rates with MailChimp. There are some downfalls to it, but all in all, if you're just getting started with your email marketing and you just need a simple and low cost or free way to send out a monthly newsletter or a weekly newsletter if you are really industrious, MailChimp will do what you need it to do. I'm still using it, it works for me. Okay, Acuity, oh my stars. I love Acuity so much. And Acuity is what has allowed me to shift my business from a um, in-person model to on entirely online. Um, during the pandemic. So again, there are lots of different tools that do essentially the same thing. The reason that I love Acuity so much is because it is really simple. Once you know a few basic things, you can just set it and forget it. Basically, you put up your class schedule, you embed it from Acuity into your website. It um, integrates with Facebook and um, Instagram. It integrates with MailChimp. And um, the feature that I like the most is that it sends those email reminders for you. So you can set it to remind your students, people who registered and paid through your Acuity scheduler, can get an email to 48, I mean, yeah, 48 hours in advance, 24 hours in advance, um, one hour in advance, that's when they would get the Zoom link from me. And then there's even an option to follow up. So like if they love your class, they can then click on the link in the email and write a review um, to Google My Business or wherever you um, are asking people to leave reviews. This is amazing and it is such a time saver and I love it. Okay, keywords everywhere is my next one. This one is for those of you who are, <laughs> I'm looking at my typo, <clears throat> gotta fix that. Okay, this is for those of you who are really um, using your website to help people find you through search engines. And actually it doesn't even have to be your website because search engines, um, Yes, there's Google, but there are also search engines on Pinterest and YouTube. So those platforms are also ones that you could use keywords everywhere to make sure that you are finding a keyword that people are actually searching for and that is not so competitive <clears throat> that you would never rank for it anyway. So keywords everywhere is a really awesome it's a Chrome extension and it gives you that information. 
and it gives you that information no matter what, where you're searching. So even if you are on YouTube. Okay, so I mentioned um, social media a little bit. So let's talk about Planoly. Planoly is my favorite tool for scheduling out Instagram posts and stories. You can also schedule carousels actually through Planoly. And it is an app. I log in on my computer and I write out all of my captions. It stores hashtags. So this is one of the things I love about it is that you can have different kinds of hashtags that it just saves and you click on it. If it's like a pregnancy related um, photo, for example, or prenatal yoga, which is what a lot of mine are, it will have a list of um, those already saved and you can just click on it, click on it and move on. So I love that. It is super helpful and it is free if you are, you know, posting less than 30 times a month, which most of us do. Okay. Tailwind is like my secret weapon when it comes to Pinterest. Tailwind also does Instagram, but I don't use it for that. I only use it for Pinterest. And that is because it helps me to pin at regular intervals to my content. And Pinterest is because I'm utilizing Tailwind and these SEO tactics um, that I've told you just a little bit about. It drives almost as much traffic to my site as Google, which is pretty amazing. And then all of those people who are finding me are people who are actually searching for something that I might be able to help them with through my yoga classes or my programs. So I love Tailwind. It's not free, but for me, it is worth it. It may or may not be worth it to you. Okay. And then last of all is Trello and Asana. It pains me to say it that way because, you know, it's Asana, but the software is Asana. These are both for project management. So you may be wondering, as we've been moving through this challenge, how on earth do you keep up with all of the people? How do you manage to remember to reach back out to someone who took a yoga class and then had a baby and fell off the planet for like six months? Um, this is how. I have systems within um, I use Trello and Asana for different things, but I have systems built in that remind me to check in on my people. And they remind me in a way that makes sure that I'm checking in and not being annoying. So those are my favorite time-saving tech tools. I use them to automate so much of my business and they save me hours upon hours every week. All right, that's today's lesson. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I'm going to walk you through my Gmail hack, which I've just been dying to share with people. Um, I've just been dying to share with people since I have discovered it. And then we will talk a little bit more about how to continue learning some of the things that we've talked about. Okay, so have a great day. Remember, keep posting your comments down below um, your questions, and I will pop in and make sure that I answer all of those together um, on the sixth day. So not tomorrow, but the day after in a live. And again, just thank you for being here. I hope that you're getting something from all of these videos.